What is going on guys? Today we are here with the Team of the Year Premium Upgrades. We have got two new objectives in the Team of the Year Premium Upgrade SBC Beginner and also Veteran. So let's have a look. I'm already... Ooh, okay. I'm already liking this. So we're going to start with a beginner. 81 double is at the start. We have got to complete a Premier League or a Premium Premier League SBC. Gets you one. Then we've got a Ligue 1, a La Liga, a Bundes and a Serie A. I have teams more like this. Then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. But at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. Just to get the numbers up of obviously what uh, people are doing. So that will just be one. Gives you plenty of experience if you're needing any to get to level 50, uh, 30. And then we have the team of the season team of the year premium upgrade sbc veteran so if we have in this one complete the premium premier league upgrade 25 times then we've got it completed 50 times what do they give you eight premier league players and eight premier league players are they rare i'm assuming they're rare but i could be wrong and it looks like okay this is the way they get us is that everything oh only 10 bundes is oh okay okay that's not too bad then i was thinking i was like 25 and 50 for every single one is pretty crazy to be honest but the uh, premier league league and are obviously the 25 and 50 so it is just an extra little bit on top of doing the grind anyway with the Serie A, you obviously have 10 and 25 because there's only fio in i believe from Serie A. with la liga you've got a few from real madrid so you've got the 25 and 50 and with the bundesliga you have 10 and 25 I would argue you get 10,000 XP. The problem is the XP is great, but is it needed? Because realistically, like, I'm, I've not grinded the objective very much. Normally, I'd be finished like two weeks ago. So I've got a little bit of XP, but that 10,000 is most definitely not going to help finish this. Unless, no, because it would leave, it would go in 10 days. So it wouldn't even matter. I was going to say, we're with the obviously the XP, it's nice, but I really think they should have given us like a rare players pack to finish, just being a little bit picky there. So let's have a look. We've got the premium SBCs then. So if we go down, we'll see what upgrades we've got. We should have it around about here. So we've got the 81 doubles. We have 75 plus play, uh, player picks. We have our daily login, obviously. We have the premium Premier League upgrade. So this is the one that, that gives you the most out. 11 rare, exactly gold. No league specific, which is nice. And it gives you eight Premier League player pack. Okay, I'm interested. I'll, I'll have a look at that. Then we've got eight Premier League. Uh, oh, no, that's eight league on premium, premium, premium. Do we have, here we go, a Premier League upgrade. Three Premier League players, repeatable. What do we need for this? 11 gold. I'm interested because free Premier League. What we'll do, uh, was it just gold? So what we'll do is we'll put one in and I'm interested to see. We don't we don't need to see what um, actually it gives us. But what I want to know is if we put untradeables in, what do we actually get back from this? Because if it's free rares, then that's fine. That's not a bad little grind. Otherwise, you may as well go do a two gold upgrade if this is not more than one rare. Because a lot of the time, it is just one rare. I suppose you can keep grinding round, which is always nice. So this is the first one. So Premium League upgrade. It is a free Premier League player pack. It doesn't give us any specifics on if that is obviously... Um, a rare or not, a rare players or not. I'm assuming it's one and two, if I'm right. We have got the Premier League. Yeah, one rare, uh, two commons. Just thinking of the grind with that, because realistically, with the 11 rare, you... Oh, hello. Team of the Year fans choice. From the PP granted, you selected uh, the Team of the Year nominees you want. The winner will receive a full Team of the Year item upgrade and will be added to foot 23 from 27th of Jan. What are we on? 23rd. From the PP granted to you, selected which team any nominees you want to win. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is the 12th man from the 27th. That's quite late. Oh, Cancelo. So we don't even get it. Well, we know already. Straight away, that's going to be Haaland. There's no way that I'm picking Cancelo or Valverde. So Haaland's won that 12th man vote if it's not rigged. But... With that, obviously, you want to get the more rares in your club. So you do get two commons back. And there is a more chance of, obviously, packing a team of the year once they're all in packs from them. But then you don't get the two rares back to do the premiums. So you've got to kind of battle with yourself to think, 
is it worth going for a two gold upgrade with a chance of more rares and still every team of the year or going more specific with a specific league uh, SBC with then only getting one rare back and two commons to whack back in. So every time you just need to put nine golds in. I think that one's going to be an interesting one. I would have liked to have seen potentially the four or five gold commons back, as I think that would have been a really good grind. We could definitely still see it Monday, which helps just really bring the grind along. But I'm interested to know, what do you think? The the normal upgrades, I normally do the, the, the gold upgrade. It's normally the one I go for, but I have definitely seen Team of the Years being packed out of these. <clears throat> Last year, we had these during Team of the Season as well. So I have seen a lot of people packing some good stuff from obviously these minor upgrades because there's not a pool of players that are unlimited so you do get the chance of just Premier League players which is going to be good for League 1 because obviously we can grind that into potentially the League SBC to grind out more it's always a shot with that but in general I think they're good SBCs they are there for what 10 days I feel like in terms of grinding these out there should be quite easy it will take quite a while i will say most definitely it's not going to be a quick grind but that's why we get 10 days and i would start to to kind of get in your club in some sort of order in terms of being able to grind the league sbcs and and obviously the team of the year upgrade sbcs as well because this is going to be a full circle grind if you've got packs ready then maybe you want to start looking at putting all of them into whatever league you want again use or utilize obviously the sbc objectives I personally think with these objectives, I would go with what you want. If you're not fancy in doing any La Liga, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a bad thing if you don't do these. These are purely for anybody that wants to do the upgrades. If, like I say, you're not level 30 yet, but you want to get that rare position pack, then yes, that is going to be well worth trying to grind out as much as you want. But in terms of doing these, I would just stick to personally what you want. Get this one done because obviously you get your two player and it's just one of each. Give a shot of one. And to be honest, that's not a bad one. But when it comes to these, I feel like when you're doing 50 La Liga and if you're really not fussed about getting a Courtois or about getting a Militao or a Benzema, you want Mbappe, you want Messi, you want KDB, then I would personally stick to what you want on these. We will be doing a full breakdown on how to grind all of the league upgrades. So if you want to subscribe and stay around for that, that will be up next because in terms of open impacts right now, I would personally wait until we get all of the team of the years in there. There's just no real need right now with obviously the midfielders start stocking up. These are the now few days that we've got, I think until Thursday or Friday, until everything's in to really get your club in a position where you can either start ripping packs straight away when team of the year is fully in, or you can obviously kind of just kind of doodle along a little bit, maybe sell some things. Hopefully the market does rise up a little bit with obviously all these comments and most definitely going to be at some point where people just wipe their club. They put everybody in and then once you've got all your untradeables, you then need to go buy stuff and you start need to do upgrades because the way you're going to have to grind these if you don't have coins is going to take a long time to do most definitely. But I personally would stick to the plan. Go with your upgrades of what you wanted. If you want to do the first one, then that's always good. But I think it's a nice little extra bonus for these League SBCs. I just think the 10,000 XP at the end is not necessarily worth it. I'd have loved to have seen a pack there. Maybe it might be a glitch and it might change, but I think very, very unlikely. So let me know down below what you think about these objectives. Make sure you do like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.